For those of you who've been following Tempo's progress, she is now 11 months old, and we thought we'd take the time to make a little video to show you most of what she knows. If you've watched her videos, or even if you haven't, you can go back and look at the earlier videos, and you can see that the very first things we taught Tempo were to back up from a touch on the shoulder, and to move forward to touch a target. And from those behaviors, we taught almost every other behavior that she knows. So for instance, um, the Pirellis use uh, something called the seven games, and one of the games that they teach is called the yo-yo game, where they teach their horse to back up and come forward. And they use increasing pressure, and since we're clicker training, we don't use increasing pressure, but what we do is we transfer cues. So the way we taught her to back up by wiggling a finger is to wiggle a finger and then touch her shoulder. And again, the Pirelli seven games, they would teach you to bring a horse forward by putting pressure on the halter. Instead, what we do is comb the rope and then present a target. So what we did was actually, it's called transferring cues. And that just shows you that she knows how to disengage her hind end. Once we had taught her to go forward, to follow a target, we used a point, and then a target. So that now point means go forward. And wiggle. And if you saw right there, I didn't use increasing pressure. And what happened was very interesting. At first, she didn't respond to the cue, but I just continued to give the cue. And you actually saw Tempo make an active choice to back up in order to earn a treat. Now, once we taught her to go forward off a point cue, we were certainly able to teach her to lead and then we were able to teach her lead, to lead from various body positions so I can send her then I can fall back and lead even from behind ask her for a change of direction that's a girl Then we were able, using the same technique, it's called successive approximation, to teach her to circle us by getting her energy going, trotting, and stopping. So at first I might only get 10 feet on the circle or 5 feet on the circle. And then later, you ask for more and more. Now, if she wants to go at the walk, I'm going to let her. And then I'm going to speed her up. And she knows how to disengage her hind end if I lift the rein. And the way I taught that was every time I lifted the rein, I would click regardless of what she was doing. Pretty soon she learned that lifting the rein meant she was going to be a, get a click. And then I withheld the click until she came in. Now I do want to get that snappier, but the point to show you there is that she's just learning this. And... Um, and so we're going to reward any effort that she makes. Okay, now we're going to show you how we've taught her to circle and how to change directions on the circle. And the first thing, of course, is this extends off of the cue to go. 
that's a girl. And the way we charter to change direction is by where we deliver the tree. So, for instance, if we ask her to go forward, she goes forward. And instead of treating where she was, I would turn and treat 180 degrees away. So that taught her to follow my shoulders. So now if I move my shoulders, she's just going to follow. Now to teach her to circle, we use the fact that she'll lead at the trot. Trot? And then we would just let her continue. And even if she just went... The first time I, I did this, I think she maybe took two steps. Because when I stopped, she wanted to stop. So she kept going. I'd click and treat. And then gradually we built up to where we could get more and more steps. I'm going to change direction. Very nice. And notice that to disengage her from a circle, trot. If I if my goal is to disengage her, I use my leading hand, I lift and look at her butt. And the way I taught that is instead of lifting and then driving her hind end away from me, I would lift the rein and then click. And that said to her, the behavior's over. So the, every time I lifted the rein, I'd click, I'd lift the rein and click, lift the rein and click. Pretty soon all I had to do was lift the rein, and she understood that that meant the end of that particular behavior. And then I shaped her to swing her hind end away from me. I started withholding the click unless she was pointing 180 degrees uh, to me. Now when I ask her to change direction, I use my trailing hand. Come on. That's a girl. There we go. So I draw her in and then turn my shoulders. And this is all still pretty rough, but it's because she's in uh, the learning phases of this at this point. Back up. I'm going to see if I can send her on the circle from a back up. That's it, back up. And I want her to go at the walk. That's a girl. Now disengage her because she changed directions on her own. She changed directions on her own, so I just very gently put her back on the right course. Okay, she changed directions because our neighbors are working over there. She doesn't want to go in that direction, but that's okay. Get past it. There we go. She went past that point, so I clicked and treated. Now I'm going to start her from the same point. I'm going to back her up. Send her off in the same direction. So she works past that little glitch she's got. And then disengage and click and treat. Very nice tempo. It's very 